Hey there, it's Schematic Matt and today we're going to talk about one of the important topics of the microbiology. Oh, come on SpongeBob, it's not that bad. So we're going to talk about hepatitis B virus structure, replication, symptoms, treatment and prevention. As always, I split this video up into different sections and you can check out the paddings below and skip right to the section that's most relevant for you or just watch video all the way through. During this video, Spongebob will help us to memorize some key points of this topic. I know, it may be a little difficult, but... Not as long as we have our imagination. Hepatitis B virus is a member of the hepatinovirus family. It is a partially double-stranded DNA virus, not a retrovirus, but has its own reverse transcriptase. Hepatitis B virus has these antigens, HBS antigen, antigen found on surface of the Hep B virus, HBC antigen, antigen associated with core of HBV, and HBE antigen secreted by infected hepatocyte into circulation, not part of mature HBV virion. And next is the important antibodies, which are anti-HBS antibody, which indicates immunity or recovery from infection. Anti-HBC antibody, IgM indicates acute recent infection and IgG indicates prior exposure or chronic infection. And anti-HBE antibody, which indicates low transmissibility. I will explain it all more in detail little later. Transmission of the hepatitis B virus. Transmission of the hepatitis B virus results from exposure of blood to infectious blood or body fluids containing blood. Parenteral transmission. Transmission of the virus may occur through the reuse of contaminated needles and syringes or sharp objects either in healthcare settings, in the community, or among persons who inject drugs. Possible form of transmission include transmission from mother to child during childbirth, perinatal transmission, and sexual contact. Remember better. The virus consists of an autolipid envelope and a nucleic capsid core composed of core protein. The genome of HPV is made of circular DNA, but it is unusual because the DNA is not fully double-stranded. The nucleic capsid encloses the viral DNA and a DNA polymerase that has reverse transcriptase activity. Hepatitis B virus antigens and their meanings Hepatitis B virus antigens. HBS antigen. We already said that antigen is found on surface of the HBV and it indicates hepatitis B infection. HBS antigen is the first serologic marker to appear in a new acute infection. A person who spontaneously recovers from an infection will test negative for HBS antigen and negative for HPV DNA approximately 4 months after the appearance of symptoms. Next antigen is HBC antigen, antigen associated with core of HPV. And HBE antigen, we already said that that's not part of the mature HPV variant and this antigen indicates active viral replication and therefore high transmissibility and poorer diagnosis. Now let's talk about antibodies. Anti-HBS antibody, this become detectable on a blood test after the disappearance of the HBS antigen in persons who are able to get rid of the virus and avoid a chronic infection. The presence of anti-HBS following a new acute infection generally indicates a recovery and a person is then protected from reinfection with hepatitis B. Anti-HBC antibodies. This test remains positive indefinitely as a marker of past HPV infection. We have two type anti-HBC antibodies. IgM and IgG. IgM, a positive blood test results indicates a person has a new acute hepatitis B infection 
IgG antibody, this blood test remains positive indefinitely as a marker of past HPV infection. Everything I said above is written in this chart. So first, let's take a look at anti-HPC antibodies. We have IgM antibodies when we have acute HPV virus and window period. And we have IgG antibodies when we have chronic infection and recovery. Immunized people have only anti-HBS antibodies and nothing else. And that's how we can differentiate person is immunized or recovered from infection. If person is recovered from an infection, along with anti-HBS antibodies, we will find anti-HBE antibodies or anti-HBC antibodies. We can see here also that when we have acute hepatitis B virus, we can find HBS antigen, HBE antigen, and anti-HBC IgM antibody. In winter period, we can find anti-HBE antibody and anti-HBC antibody. When we have chronic hepatitis B virus, when we have high infectability, we can find HBS antigen, HBE antigen, and anti-HBC antibody, IgG. When we have low infectability, we can find HBS antigen, anti-HBE antibody and anti-HBC antibody, IgG. And already we said, when we have recovery, we can find anti-HBS antibodies, anti-HBE antibodies and anti-HBC IgG antibodies. And immunized people have only anti-HBS antibodies and nothing else. Virus replication. In the early stage of hepatitis B virus infection, adult virions attached to the hepatocytes cell membrane. Various cellular factors have been suggested to transmit the virus to the cell as viral receptors. Once hepatocytes enter, the hepatitis B virus is released from its outer shell. The capsule released viral genome then enters the nucleus of the hepatocyte, where through DNA polymerase, partial double-stranded DNA is regenerated and transformed into CCC DNA covalently closed circular DNA. CCC DNA is a template for transcription of some subgenomic and genomic RNAs. The accumulation of hepatitis B virus begins with the genome encapsulating. After capsidization, DNA polymerase mediates the reverse transcription of pregenomal RNA, leading to the formation of a minus-stranded DNA. Minus-stranded DNA is subsequently transformed into positive-stranded DNA, again by reverse transcription. Then the DNA polymerase terminal protein forms the nuclear capsid. The nuclear capsid then interacts with surface proteins in the endoplasmic reticulum of the hepatocyte to become mature virions and leave the cell. During HPV infection, the innate immune response does not play a significant role in these processes. The adaptive immune response, in particular, virus-specific cytotoxic T lymphocytes, contributes to most of the liver injury associated with HPV infection. Cytotoxic T lymphocytes eliminate HPV infection by killing infected cells and producing antiviral cytokines. Hepatitis B infection symptoms Signs and symptoms of hepatitis B range from mild to severe. They usually appear about 1 to 4 months after being infected. Symptoms of acute hepatitis B are not specific, can include loss of appetite, joint and muscle pains, notice SpongeBob's elbow is red, low-grade fever, stomach and abdominal pain, yellowing of skin and sclera, we call it jaundice, we all know that SpongeBob is yellow, nausea, vomiting, dark urine, clay-colored stool, and skin rash. Cheeks are red and has rash on it. Most people with chronic hepatitis B do not have any symptoms and do not feel ill and remain symptoms-free from decades. When symptoms do appear, they are similar to the symptoms of the acute infection but can be a sign of advanced liver disease. Chronic HPV infection can lead to serious complications such as scarring of the liver, which we call cirrhosis, which may impair the liver ability to function. Other complications can be liver cancer, 
most commonly hepatocellular carcinoma, liver failure, and other conditions. For example, people with chronic hepatitis B may develop kidney disease. Kidneys are damaged by polyarthritis nodosa, and kidney damage also can be presented by membranose and membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis. If the infection occurred in the first year of life, the probability of chronicity is 90 to 95 percent. That's why all infants should receive the hepatitis B vaccine as soon as possible after birth. In treatment of hepatitis B infection, we can use medicines including oral antiviral agents. Treatment help us to slow the progression of the cirrhosis, reduce incidence of liver cancer, and improve long-term survival. Liver transplantation is sometimes used in people with cirrhosis or liver cancer. Lomividin is a nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. Lomividin has activity against HIV-1, HIV-2, and hepatitis B virus. It can inhibit both type 1 and 2 HIV reverse transcriptase and also the reverse transcriptase of hepatitis B virus. Prevention Hepatitis B is a vaccine-preventable liver infection. Hepatitis B vaccine contains one of the proteins from the surface of the hepatitis B virus, or HBS antigen. All infants should receive the hepatitis B vaccine as soon as possible after birth, preferably within 24 hours, followed by two or three doses of hepatitis B vaccine at least four weeks apart to complete the vaccination series. Protection lasts at least 20 years and is probably lifelong.